Oh, all right, everybody. Welcome. Me crying. To the Gear Swap Podcast. You can't say shit because it we, is we, December second, two thousand twenty. I tried. I I figured I would go today with a nice little uh, a trusting moment with my co-host. No. And no. normally I don't turn their mics on until we are well and live. Um, and I was like, all right, guys, your mics are live. No talking until we start. And literally neither of them could hold it in. <laughs> you, you said something. She started shit. talking. Look you said it. something and I just was like, oh, let me talk too. And then I realized what you had said much too late. My goodness. Look, I don't regret any of my decisions. I did what I did. Yeah, I know. I was there. And I do it again. Right. She was there. <laughs> She was there. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, yes. Uh, hello, motherfucker. <laughs> That's a very apropos soundbite Most for the beginning of the show. Amazing. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gear Swap, week number 41. Yep, we are here and live and much more sober than last week. Hopefully, oh, we'll yeah, that's for fun. sure. <laughs> yeah, last week was pretty wild. Um, I don't remember last week's podcast, really. I was fucked up. Oops. You don't remember what you said about Thermit? No, what did I say? Oh, you're going to have to oh, ask him. Dang. Wait, it, it couldn't have been that bad. Mm. <laughs> Could it, though? And I'd do it again. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, for the folks out in live territory and if you're watching the bot in the future yo hello and welcome there are some new things on the stream we yeah. have bushy ass eyebrows we, we have bushy ass <laughs> eyebrows we got some caterpillars over there on birdie <laughs> we've got a updated chat box which we now have oh Ooh. by the way we are now live on twitch and the youtubes That's not a lot so hello Honey, hello to our YouTube family that's out there. Welcome to the show. Engage hello. in the chat. We what love up, to YouTube? see you. Also, in addition to having the dual stream set up now, we also have a goal for the month. Yay. Ooh. So Ooh. we have Ooh. we have a bit donation we it. that we are currently aiming for. I'm not going to tell you what the total is because all it gives is a percentage. However... If we uh, if we get to that bit donation bar to be full to 100%, we'll be giving away a free game. Yeah. Donate bits. Get free games. Donate bits. Donate them bitties. Yeah. Also, in addition to that, we have a bar in the bottom for our current subs. Our, our subs have dropped off a bit. So we are down to six current active subs. If you are watching the show and you like what we do, we would love to have your support. Yes. Uh, you can yeah. toss us Get your it. Twitch Prime sub, which is free to you as long as you have a Twitch account. Or I'm sorry, not a Twitch account, a Amazon account. Uh, you do get that free, 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 free Prime that you can toss our way. Uh, in addition to that, you can sub at different levels and then you get access to the emojis. You can have access to our hearts if you'd like. Um, that might be a lie. I like my art, my heart where it is, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Mm. Whatever happens, happens. It's true. True story. So um, at the beginning of every show, we say hello to the users that are here early. And today we have our moderator. Our moderator, since basically day one, Powers772 is out in the chat. Hi, Powers. Hey, Patrick. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Powers. Out there in listening world, we got Dog, Liana, Lurks, Sad Grill, The Devil is OB, Oh. Wakened by Sheep, and Wavy Dexterity. So hello to all of you. Hello. I see typing in the chat. Mr. Rogue YouTube, welcome to Ooh. you. You're not showing up on my list, but welcome. Love that. Welcome. What up, the ceiling? <laughs> Jeremy, hello to you as well. Um, you know, Hi. 
it Jesus. didn't show you guys. I have a little a box that shows who's active in the chat. It may not show you up until you start talking. Mm. Or it could show just be behind. <laughs> Why is my headphone popping so much? All right. Uh, Christian, how was your week? I am going to try to fix my headset while you do that. I am back to exhaustion. Oh my gosh, man. 7 a.m. is no joke. Uh, other than that, I don't... Oh, and worse, I don't get paid till the 10th. So I have to wait a bit. But it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. There's the two weeks. And then on top of that, my third week, my first week of training. So therefore, those three weeks will be put into one and my AirPods came in. Uh, hmm. Other than that, I'm doing completely fine. Sick. Love that. Love that. Go off. What's going on in both your worlds? What are you doing now? Oh, where do I work now? I am a logistics technician at a hospital. Are you doing that full time instead of, well, I guess you can't really pool clean in the middle of the winter, huh? I mean, I guess there's no. indoor pools. There is indoor pools, but. A lot slower, I'm sure. So much slower. Yeah. I mean, it makes a lot of sense because like most of the pools in Illinois would be outdoors. <laughs> Um, but... unless you're like richy rich, like exactly, like, yeah, big you have rich. like fuck you money rich, so you can have a pool in your house, like new trier kids, um, and that stuff. Sure, 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 sure. Nice for sure, for sure. Congrats! All right, Mr. thank you. Rogue is going thank off you. in the chat with these emojis. Look Holy at Rogue, shit. man. So much interaction. Thanks. This is this is fantastic. That's a. That might be the biggest octopus I've seen. Is this a, is this the mood for today? Are we doing like this? Apparently. Today? Anyway. Oh goodness I'm, I'm gracious! A big fan. Birdie, how was your week? Uh, my week's been good. Um, it's been a, like I feel like we did a lot between last Wednesday and this Wednesday because we had like we were cooking. We cooked way too much food for two of us because I guess that's just what you do on Thanksgiving. Honestly, not that big of a fan. Could go without that, but it's um got super sick after eating thanksgiving dinner that wasn't great um been doing my regularly scheduled pole business um been taking classes at home because i haven't been going into the studio because of covid and uh just trying to be respectful of people's space and stuff like that uh, but other than my week's been good. I literally have like three weeks left of the semester and I'm supposed to be graduating and I'm just like, nobody say anything to me hmm. until I see my grades. <laughs> That's it. Nobody, don't say shit to me. Don't say congratulations. Don't say, uh, how are you feeling? Don't ask me shit about school till I see my grades. I That's got yelled it. at when I got home today because I was watching her do math. It was like, Matt get away from me. I can't, like, get away. breathing down my fucking neck. Just get away. I can't do math, all right? I'm just <laughs> messing with you. About myself. I'm just messing with you. D's get Ooh. degrees? Correct. Yeah. And then, yes. to be quite honest with you, I would settle for a fucking D in anything right now. I just want to fucking pass. I'm over it. Yeah. I, have, I have crossed that bridge. I have cried the tears. We're done. We're done. I'm, like, three weeks. Hustle bustle and get out of there that's it Very the octopus you. just gets longer Everyone's and longer so and longer that's wild bless <laughs> the octopus wall but yeah today has been a rough day as far as school goes which is part of the reason i'm being so emphatic about it just like there's always something to fucking stress about when you're in school like dead ass always there is not a day where you can't be like Oh my god, I didn't do something well enough, or I didn't do something at all. Oh, the octopus is longer. <laughs> but, like, it do be like that, you know? Oh no. The octopus <laughs> is going to take up the entire chat box. The octopus is like a, a representation of um, me trying to tempt fate about how long I can procrastinate on something that needs to be done. That's what that octopus is to me. Is the octopus an allegory? And honestly, if it gets any longer, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> it'll be way more. It'll be too accurate. Kidding, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, things are good overall. Though. Life is good. You know, I'm, I'm living, breathing. I 
haven't caught COVID. So and, uh, go good. off. Good. You know, go off. We're staying yeah. safe. We are healthy. We're fed. We're clothed. We are, we're in a home. So like go off, you know? It doesn't get a lot better than that right now. Oh man, I have a question for everyone already. Oh my Uh-oh. goodness. Uh, Wait. Brock, you tell your day though. Okay, yeah. I was like, but but I had stuff I had done. I can be patient. I can be patient. <laughs> okay. So, are you, Bird, you done? I was okay. just representing you. I got you. Um. So my week was interesting. I did a double dose of D and D. Uh, we had actually a triple dose of D and D. We did a one shot last mm-hmm. Tuesday. We did a. Uh, Saturday session uh, for the folks that couldn't make it on Tuesday. So we rescheduled for Saturday, which was fun. Mm. Uh, on Saturday, my team of adventurers got their ass kicked Ooh. in a mountain fight where they had to retreat with their tails tucked hard. Luckily, they all survived and were sent off to a distant part of the world that they're in where they are now trying to figure out uh, how to save lots of people. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I think that they are having a good time and I am getting better. So it's becoming less stressful. Um, <laughs> so no, it's, it's a good time. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, we play that every Tuesday. So the fun one is day, what matters. One day we will maybe get it on stream. I don't know if anyone wants to watch that, but we might. That'd be cool. Um, Liana says, yes, it was brutal. Yeah, it was, it was really fucking brutal. Oh why are you no! Beating them up for? Why did what? I said, why are you beating them up for? They needed to get beat up and put in their place. Oh, Mr. DM. Y'all acting <laughs> out of pocket. Yeah. You better not. It needed to happen. You stay in that pocket. <laughs> um, on top of that, work has been kind of slow again. This season is always a little slow. Um, there's two big holidays back to back, so not a ton of people are moving, and if they are moving, it's like gigantic moves. So we're either not busy or life sucks. Ooh. There's like no in between. Yeah. I remember that always. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting for the next about four weeks. Uh, and then the new year hits and I start my taxes again. Yay. Tax- oh, yeah. Tax oh. season. Yep. Tax- I got to start compiling all our corporate taxes right at the beginning of the year. You said taxes and I started thinking about the fact that I'm going to start having to pay my student loans and... I can't. I need. I. I can't do. You that. You need a breather. Yep. Okay. Take a breath. I'm about to get W two from like four different locations. Okay, <laughs> I'll just say it is this degree better be worth it, and if it's not, like W twos mean that your taxes are already paid, so you don't have to worry about it. Like ten ninety nines are when you have to start crying because if you didn't pay your taxes, you about to get fucked. You about to get it. You about to get it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, that's what you'll be doing to the fucking IRS if you you didn't pay your taxes. (laughs) Shake that butt. (laughs) Woo! Yes. Yo, even, yo. even 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 if you're tossing that cash around, man, you still got to report that if they come after you. You you cannot. I feel like this is the wrong place to talk about this, but on the note of becoming a drug dealer, I mean, literally anything for for a side hustle, genuinely, even. I've done it before. Just be an accountant. I have a full time uh-huh. as an accountant. Uh-huh. <laughs> I really should though, like <laughs> not me paying off my student debt for the rest of his life. <laughs> Jeebus. So that was my week. Christian, what did you want to add in before we open up the uh, the phone line here for questions? Okay, so you guys know how Spotify is doing the 2020 wrapped to see like your like your most listened to artists and songs for the entire year, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. So did did anyone did anyone see anything interesting that they didn't think they would see? Ooh. Do I have to like open all. this up and check right now? Uh, if you would like to, if where you just I, where do I go on Spotify? Just go on Spotify. Like twenty twenty wrapped. It'll come. Yeah, up. yeah. Twenty twenty wrap. Yeah, wrapped. Well, I mean, R A P T. No, W R A P P E D. Yeah. See how you listen. Twenty twenty wrapped the genre. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, if you guys it. are, if you're both looking, I can just start it off right here. Sure. So, 
One thing I found interesting, I made it to the top 1% of an of minutes listened to for an artist and that kind of like I don't know why it made me so happy but it did. Was that the because... first time you've ever done that? Like wait, what? Was it like the first time you've been in like the top percentile for like an artist for how many times you've listened or whatever? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I did that last year, the year before that for the same artist. Really? I was in the top 1% of Zed's listeners two years in a row. Wait, I'm in the top 1% you... of Lil Uzi Vert's listeners. Oh. How do you find this? Hold on, hold on. Go on your phone, Nick. It, it, it's yeah, it, it, it's easier. It. Okay, Natalie's going to help. This one? Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Where's your phone, though? My phone? Because they have like a, yeah. It's, it's. Okay, so... I'm an old boomer. I don't know what to do. <laughs> an old boomer. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's cool. It but yeah. Up. My Not top us. 1% is Lil Uzi Vert, but none of my top five songs are his songs. It's so weird. Okay. It's weird uh, how that happened. 898 new artists. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. It like even tells you all the new artists that you either looked up or listened to and all that. Wow. 415 genres. Yep, all those genres. My top was rock. Yo, my second, Ooh. my second genre was lo-fi, yeah. and I was so happy about that. It went away. <laughs> the my one second song genre that you get was all, the Undertale soundtrack. <laughs> top song of the year, Megalovania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mine was Feel Something by Elenium and Excision with I Prevail. My number one song was Pretty by 24K Golden. Ooh. Okay. Nice. My top song. What were those? Every, everyone in the chat, you must now look at your phones and see who what your number one song is. Yeah. What's your 2020 rep, baby? My third comment, song is Bad Guy. Everyone, everyone comment right now. Comment your number one song. Go. Billy Eilish books my Head top on. five artists Petrat was number four that's, is... that's so funny kim Petrat wasn't even on my oh album. yeah halloween album on oh Rock what's it called later. Ooh, what if At... it's haunted was my top podcast no oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go leon no <laughs> not that representation it was higher than jenna and julian podcast mine was the no. jenna and julian podcast of course it was. oh man i had a, a, a day where i listened to 10 episodes in a row oh no i listened to three episodes in a row of an anime okay. podcast oh i i'm a pioneer i'm also a pioneer all right this Same is like here. content that probably no one really cares about yeah so moving on this is really cool. I'm going to look at the rest of this later. Okay. 2020 rap yeah, fun, it's, so it's a really that. good look. It's really interesting. Learn something about yourself. My oh. first artist this year was Dua Lipa, which was so weird to me because I didn't really feel like I listened to her that much, but I guess I did. I listened to her Future Nostalgia album a lot. I wonder how Ash YouTube... Nico made it to my top five artists to listen to. Oh my I, gosh. I wonder how YouTube is going to fuck up their she 2020 is a review great this year. artist, dude. They need like... to stop doing those. They should Wait. throw in the towel. The YouTube rewinds? Yeah. yeah. They really used to be good. Like yeah. 2020 is Used be to be keywords. Um, keywords. It should just be like, be. wear a mask. Uh, 2020 in... It in, should be it? three minutes of a repeat, wear a mask. <laughs> there we right. go. Wear a mask. Wear That'd a be mask. great. Wear a mask. All right. Oh, different tones? Okay. Ooh, you're, now you're thinking outside the box. I was inside the box. Yeah, because I said where am I? Where are these messages coming from? Hey, baby, you want to say hi to the podcast? Am I, bl am I right. blind? All right, guys. Oh, if, you out, here. if you're out in the chat and you want to ask us any questions, we're going to we're gonna open up the lines for questions for the next Feel 10 minutes, and then we're going to have some people on the ask show. Ask us. Ask us anything. Ask us anything. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the post oh, man, of Milo. 2020 in a dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. He's playing hard uh, to get. He's probably going to oh. go over by his dad because he knows I want him to come here. Oh, oh. he's back. He's back. For oh, Milo. Oh. Milo, look at him go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought. <laughs> nyah, nyah, nyah. That is a kitty. Oh, he smells so good. Did he just poop? No, he smells like my baby. 
He smells like cat. Nice. Yeah, we just spoiled Milo this week. We uh we went to the local oh, really? store. We bought him some bougie ass food, which he now like cries for every morning. Jeez. <laughs> like literally, like Milo's the cat that would like not complain if we didn't feed him. Um, when am I morning, coming like, back out? If to it was like noonish, he would start getting upset. But like now, when I wake up to leave in the morning for work, he like is meowing at me. He looks at me, he's like meow. I'm like I have to go to work. He's like meow. I have to leave. Then he runs over by the fridge and he looks at me. He's like meow. I'm like Milo, I'm out of here, man. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm I'm booking it, bro. <laughs> yeah, we got him some like mixed wet food. It's like a tuna yeah, base and then a pumpkin base. Don't know how to act. He thinks he's part of a different family. Huh. We got him a little water fountain that has continuous like running water. Ah, it's got a filter. Look at that. Everything. Look at that. We could put fish in there, probably. It's got a filter. Probably not. All right. When are you coming back to Waukesha? Uh, when I get a vaccine for COVID. Yeah, like when it's safe. The fuck. <laughs> When like, I get paid. When, I, when it's not between risking my life and having fun. Yeah. Because a bitch would rather stay home. <laughs> yeah. Um, the tournament was my last time out playing laser tag until that was so there is a significant change by the in, way. The, in the world's safety for COVID. I just can't do it anymore. Like, not to Ooh. mention, like, we're literally posting record numbers every single day of people getting sick. So, jeez. Yeah. Sorry, I miss it. I want to play, but there's something. Yeah, I miss it a lot. Honestly, I'm not a even lot. gonna lie. Like I, I just miss playing at Chicago so much. Like I feel like like when they closed right away and we were able to go to Waukesha, it was good like filler. But I feel like now that I can't play at all, I'm like back to low key trying to process the fact that we just don't. <laughs> Is anybody else still like? <laughs> about that because i yep. really am like you got me uh -huh. fucked all the way up yeah. you really mm -hmm. do no Is more no more shanty no more alcatraz <laughs> that's so funny all that stuff yeah and then uh... not to bring oh, up the sad man. shit but like it really mm, i have another question i'm ready time all right uh Mr. X-Ray Gun says giving pets fancy stuff is bad. Our bird got Aquapana Tucson import water once. <laughs> you mother... word? Bet she didn't know how to act afterwards, huh? My mother spoke back to me once. What? <laughs> Such a what? great movie. Bet she didn't know how to act. Pet kit? Like, I feel like pets, like mm. certain pets, like my cat for instance or maybe your bird for instance like they get a couple nice things and they just think that they own the motherfucking shits i'm like look you need to understand something i am still your mother okay okay i will yell at you i will scare the shit out of you <laughs> do not play with me i was in the kitchen the other day getting him food i was getting him that like i've been missing mixing his like medical food because he has like a special type of food that he has to eat um with a little bit of like the the nice food and he hopped on the counter to try and get at it before i put it down and i was like boy if you don't... <laughs> like god <laughs> get dang. off the counter while i'm trying to get your food. what did what did he do you to the starve. sink as well? <laughs> what what he do to the sink too what to the sink what did he do in the sink didn't you say he went into the sink looking for the spoon that you used to serve it yeah dude <laughs> like after he finished eating he hopped up on the counter went into the sink and found the dirty spoon with the food on it and i went into the this i was like in the kitchen making food for myself or something after i had fed him and i wasn't paying attention i was making eggs and I turned around, and who's in the sink with his little snoot on the on the spoon? I said, "If you don't act, get the hell out of here! What are you doing?" Honestly, and I don't even really care if the cat goes on the kitchen counter. Like, do what you want, as long as you're not like all nasty up there while I'm cooking and shit and getting into all my food. I don't care. But like, you are not starving. Get off the counter. Right. Be acting like you don't have a home. So, uh, Christian, you want to read that uh, most recent question out of the chat? Ooh, the like most that. recent or the first one I put? <laughs> <All right. laughs> the first one. All right, the first one. So, if you had to theme your own map 
Like, let's say, let's say you have the money to make your own map and everything. What would the theme of your map be? Don't say Nuketown. That map is terrible. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I thought. I was like, that's Call of Duty, right? Yeah, that map is Folk fucking terrible. Oil rig? I love that. Like a Ooh. shipping barge or something. What's Photon from? I don't love know that. that. Ooh. Okay. Am I the only one? No, I have to be the only one. Oh, I was going to say Wild, Wild West. West. New York. You literally be have cool. a map. Change like, it. Ooh, You're well, pretty cool. Anyway, so. Not you, Birdie. <laughs> I mean, like, like, change it. That would be so much more interesting than, that, like... Two Wayne is here, yo! The shitty representation boy, of the Middle East that y'all have, but, you know. Um, you can do it, so... I think... Hmm. What would be a fun map? Word. No, I feel you, for sure. But, like, if you ever had the... You know? Go for it. Like, go off. You, I, you guys honestly have such a good structure for that, too. So, I feel like that would that would be fire. I don't even know what kind of map I would do. The oil rig sounds pretty cool because, like, I know how, like, in, 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 like, James Bond, Goldeneye, like, the oil rig map was really fun to play. Uh, and they have some pretty cool oil rig maps in uh, Call of Duty as well. That could be fun. Oh, eh, oh, whoa, whoa, ray gun. What work from COD 4, huh? All right. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Guess. I guess the the obvious answer is Rust from COD, right? What? what, what, what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Imagine running a free for all there, dude. <laughs> like... God. I don't know what these things are. I have to. Google. It's it's a giant, like almost wide open map with a huge tower in the middle of it, and yeah, that's the map. Yep. The... What's West Rut... Work? What is that? Oh, wet work. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's it? Dude, that's dope. That would be so cool. But I feel like, like, no, nah, I guess not. I feel like part of what would make it really dope is if there was actually water. But, like, obviously. Yeah. But just, I mean, it would work perfect in Alcatraz to build that leaky ass roof. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Perfect simulation. Yo, you mean the Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, Period. man. That was some good stuff. Like, <laughs> um, I think a fun map. Could potentially be any of like the uh, Dead by Daylight fields. Like, yeah, a lot because of those they're kind of laid out, yeah. like, a little open, but they still have some pretty good obstacles. That would to be them. really dope. Yeah. Oh, you know what would be cool to see Auto Haven as like a a laser tag map. Yeah, Auto Haven would be really That'd fun. Be so dope because you could just take a bunch of scrapped cars and pull them in and like use them as props and stuff. Yeah. So Do you know what would be wild as Love well? Uh, well, okay. So the only downside to a map like Auto Haven would be that the entire like center of the field would just be wide open. So you'd have like this weird like Madison Sniper Fest happening. Stop. No! Nick! No! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh Nick. No. <laughs> the suffering. Got he. Oh. Got he. he did get us though. You motherfucker. Liana. If you weren't my brother, I would have timed out. I would have timed you out for that comment. I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh my goodness, man! Should we start having walkie-talkies so you can easily communicate with teammates better? What? Yeah. That way you don't have to That's scream. Too much. Yeah, it's. I, I agree, tried. though. The yeah. screaming is rough, to be honest. But well, like, some, I mean, sometimes my voice down. gives out. What? Like you just turn the audio down on the the speakers. I mean, you don't need to have fucking... You speak the yell, though. 11 level music. Like, but yeah, but if you're on, like... Waukesha has got their volume at a pretty good level. You don't have to scream to talk over it. It depends what song they play. Yeah, I was like, I don't know about all of that, B, but... <laughs> Nick said you can't time out mods. Oh, no, his britches... Can't time good. out mods, man. Screaming oh, is fun, though. Lord. Yeah, screaming is dope. I'm into that. I mean, I'm a loud-ass person, so any... Uh chance i get to scream and it's in an environment where that is welcome yeah you know use and abuse use and abuse yeah i'm yeah, loud as shit when it needs to when i need to be so like i'm i'm down for the yelling but it would be nice to not have to like strip my vocal cords raw to tell somebody that i'm upstairs <laughs> right. like that'd be dope <laughs> yeah 
I mean, there was some of us that tried using Discord with our phones to talk in sessions. I know I did it. Nick did it. I think Powers did it for a little bit. And, like, the minute the audio comes on, it just overpowers your microphone. Mm. So oh, that becomes Lord. very hard. I mean, we all worked there. We know how hard it was to, like, talk to the people on the field once the music was playing. Yeah, that's we for us, too. Mm-hmm. Um, like, the only people that could actually hear were the ones that wore the earpieces. Otherwise, the first thing you always heard was, what was that? Unless you were smart and kept your walkie on your shirt yeah. here so that it was always by your ear. But... <laughs> Yeah, it's rough. Uh, I mean, if you ever want to, though, the Discord channel is always open with the audio channels. You can always jump in there and try playing. We tried doing that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the The key is you can't use anything Bluetooth. You have to actually have a wired headset. Yeah, if it's Bluetooth, it gets too tricky. Yeah, the Bluetooth, it's too sensitive. It the picks up all the bass. With our map, is that like in certain spots in Shanty and Alcatraz, like your service would just shit. Like, oh yeah. It it would just totally shit the bed. So like even if you were trying to do that, regardless, like Discord would just be like, and then it would just be more distracting and annoying than anything, which was the biggest issue for me at least fundamentally. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Let's see what other questions. Christian's just pumping the chat full of questions. You guys got to yes, get some more. Yes, Christian. I'm waiting for the day when I have a bunch of them. <laughs> when ESPN just like decides that we all deserve to be like um, like massively paid um, sports celebrities, and we're like, <laughs> we were just waiting like, for y'all to like. like obviously, out. we would be the first one signed because we've been doing this already. I mean, like, I'm not talking about me because not me probably at all, but like the rest of y'all pop like, off. Like, like get that get that bag, baby. Like imagine me and Chris getting contracts for Chicago. Like Also, like, I'm sorry, but to anybody who thinks that that's not a viable option for people who play competitive laser tag, like I think you're stupid. I think people will watch that and be really fucking into it. I just think that yeah. nobody's like tried to invest in that as yeah. like a sport that uh, people watch to the right. point where people would watch it is the real issue. Yeah, like yeah, the, the she closest... said you're stupid and you should feel stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, the only, the, only <laughs> the, the, the closest thing that exists right now to laser tag would be paintball. But paintball is always done at this like speedball, same field setup everywhere. So That's like I'm saying. having multiple small fields set up to get to watch would be fun. The other part is you actually have to get a setup where it's actually watchable. Yeah. Um, it's like Waukesha's field is great, but you can't see two thirds of it. Um, the cameras that they have are good, but they're like the big, really wide fish lenses. So it's like hard to see who is who and you'd have to set up like, like the cameras I have up there where they and I think the other give you a better perspective view and you can actually see who people are. It needs to be watchable, but also like I feel like as far as like the entertainment sponsors. industry goes, like I feel like there are plenty of like th there is it's a gap in my opinion. Like it's a gap in the marketplace. It's like literally like what you learn when you go to school, you learn about business, you learn about whatever those things are. You're like, okay, if you wanna start a successful business, you wanna do something different, you wanna do something, whatever. Like what's not popular right now? What's not, like what part of the market space is not being used? Okay, like this. <laughs> and there are like plenty of people like clearly around the world globally that are interested in this like as a thing that they do with their free time constantly like you're constantly spending money to go do it you're constantly spending money to be a part of this like whatever like you think people wouldn't come and watch it and spend money to be a part of that community like via live arena or something like that like you're dumb <laughs> Yeah, I think um, it's really just about like accessibility and obviously yeah, like totally. making it watchable, making it something well, that and, yeah. And we have like before, like in the past, you've been really been crippled by your ability to reach people with television being one of the only ways you could actually get the word out. Like paintball got too popular before the internet. Um, if paintball was going through its like beginning popularity now, I think you would see tons of streams online for it uh, between YouTube and Twitch and that. It just paintball went through the fun part of paintball in the mid to late 90s where you had these like mega fields and like 
actual outdoor competitions and teams in that where the fields were different and they would travel all over the place. Now they've kind of matured past that and it's all speedball. So it's like the, the inflatable fields or everything is standardized. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was just part of television. It's easier for them to film that. Um, I saw Tyler mention that the, the pricing is like really expensive. It's actually not that expensive. I'm going to give me a second here. I'm pulling up one of my, uh, one of the cameras that I have here and I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, if you think about it on like a larger scale too, you're not thinking just like what it would cost to like, I guess initially start something that was like that big. Um, Right. I, I think that like in terms of what I personally like what I'm thinking about is like having it be relatively like large industry wise and like I just I don't it just feels like a part of the like market that's just not being tapped into. Obviously it's not something that like I mean realistically this is the perfect time to start thinking about like if you even wanted to like try and start something like that, invest in something like that, like now is like the perfect time to do it because you just like, you can't really do anything physically face to face, like currently about it right now, but now is a great time to plan, strategize, whatever, think about what it would actually take to make that plausible possible and like uh, what it would take to operate it. But I think that it's a genius in my opinion. I mean, we all already spend so much money doing it when I get paid. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm going to, I'm going to transition the screen really quick. So this camera that's behind me right here, it is literally, I believe it's a $60 security camera that records at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Put your starting salary. <laughs> Bruh. Right. I'd take $1 an hour. Like, the if somebody told me, hey, I'm going to pay you so you can play laser tag, I'd be like, uh -huh. 50 cents? Hey, $5, celebrate. $5, let's celebrate. go. Let's go. <laughs> Why get so dark? Damn. Camera too. So the other cool thing about this camera is for only $50, like you get a camera that still records in the dark at... 1080p so like you could be playing the game shut the hell up nick <laughs> people are playing the game and you can still roughly see who's who versus some of the other cameras that we've seen in the past so there you go i'm gonna turn the lights back on all right <laughs> love that all right so i just i popped two questions in the chat while all y'all were talking about espn uh so number one so not playing a tournament, but what if you were the coach of the team of the tournament? Would you all do it? Wait, what? So like instead of playing in a tournament, you're the coach of a team for the tournament. Would you oh, do it? Oh, like you were coaching. Yeah, you're coaching them. You're looking over them. You're spectating. You're if seeing. If I had more experience, I don't know why I'm talking about this. Like I couldn't do it. Yeah, I would coach a team. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I totally would. Wouldn't. Nick. Chris, would you do it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. Also, like I've already done coaching in other fields of things, so and I know that I really like it, so I think that it would be a fun time for sure. All right, Chris. I heard Natalie's fifty cents an hour to this question, <laughs> but what's your starting salary if you were offered a contract to get signed right now for a laser tag? <laughs> Like to play professionally? Play professionally. What would be what would your starting asking salary be? So I have two answers. Okay. The first answer is like for me to like live and like survive, knowing that like a lot of the a lot of the money that I would have to make would go toward like the lifestyle because you'd have to travel, you'd have to feed yourself on the road a lot, et cetera, et cetera. Like probably looking like minimum to get people like comfortable to play, you'd have to give them probably at least. Now, if you're good with your if you're good with your money, you can do it a lot cheaper. But like probably fifty, sixty thousand a year would be like entry pay for most players to 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 have a lifestyle and like 
have a permanent residence and insurance, et cetera, et cetera. Like you need to be in that like 50 ish thousand dollar range. Mm -hmm. Now I know that this is a question that comes up a lot in esports with, um, uh, like Starcraft teams, League of legends, uh, call of duty players and that where they sign with these teams and they don't make huge contracts, but they also don't have a lot of background money that they have to have. So like a lot of the younger people will sign like right out of high school or a lot of them are still in high school and they take contracts that are only maybe like 20, 30,000 a year guaranteed money. Mm -hmm. And for a kid that doesn't have anything like money wise that they owe to anybody, that's a lot of money. Like it's yeah, hard they to don't spend. Have to pay like rent. if you don't have they to don't pay have rent, to... if you don't have school, student loans, if you don't have well, 100%. like all these crazy things, 100%. Um, you could get away with paying people not much at all. And right. as long as you're paying to cover their like daily expenses, I'm sure a lot of people would do it just because like the prestige of doing it and being like a shot at being famous. And then obviously you pay more to like the stars and that, because that's just what happens. Right. Um, I see Liana saying about agents in that um, the only re the only way you would ever really get an agent, I think is if you were, if you were good enough where you would have to start managing like outside promotions. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. if you're just handling like a contract with a team to play, you don't need an agent for that yet. But if you start getting like outside calls, like from sponsorships saying, Hey, we want you to promote our product. Yeah. We want you to come and do this, do a photo shoot, et cetera, et cetera. Then you need somebody that works full time as your, as your advocate because you need somebody to like schedule yeah because you, you, you need someone to be your mouthpiece because you yeah. just have to play negotiate play. Cause, prices because you're going to be too like busy that. practicing and actually playing and like, right well doing your stuff. job essentially yeah. i mean yeah. yeah um but the vast majority of people probably wouldn't get an agent mm -hmm. um i mean college kids don't get agents right i mean granted they're not technically making money uh, oh, but they have lots of responsibilities still the other thing is is like you're only making so much money, like right. Then you only like you you do or you don't need an agent. I think that's pretty much like you start making more money than that. It's probably you need an agent at that point. Like I don't think you need an agent until you make more money. If that makes any sense, right? So, yep. You need All right. To grow All right. Sustain. Yeah. No, absolutely. Like if you. Yeah. I, I think it's just a question of like, when do you, at what point do you need an agent? Like a regular, like if you're getting signed, I guess, sure. Depending on how much they're going to throw at you is also going to determine what kind of agent you get. Cause you could pick up an easy, like talent agency agent that'll do part-time work for you and they don't cost a ton, but you're also going to only get what you pay for. So, um, let's see. I'm going to answer some questions about the camera. Yes, it is. RTSP. Mm -hmm. um, I connect right. it directly over my network. You can also keep it off of your your main network on the computer because you you can set up its own LAN and just have all of the IPs feed into one router and then you just keep it off of your internet LAN so it's all internal. So you don't have to worry about stuff going to the outside world unless you wanted to. Uh, lots of good stuff. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this was a conversation <laughs> right here. Now y'all got my my wheels a spinning. What do you got, Bird? I'm just thinking, like and the the biggest thing is you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have a market where people are going to want to pay sponsorship money for it to exist. That's always gonna be the hardest part, and that's. Uh, but furthermore, it's about convincing those people that like it needs to exist at all. It's not just like, hey, sponsor this because. Right. It's like, oh, are people going to buy into this? Yeah. And in our case, we use the we use the iCombat system. And iCombat has historically been very protective of their IP name. So they don't just let you go around and use iCombat wherever you want. Well, sure. But like they I'm, would I'm sure they would want to get their hands. about them anyway. <laughs> well, but that's the problem is if we wanted to do it, it may not be able to happen on this particular system. They just may not allow it. I mean, okay, whatever. Push comes to shove. Buy eye combat. Like That's true. Sorry. <laughs> there's a market for cornhole. How can we not get a market? It's a lose you lose. Baby. Yeah, there's <laughs> literally a market for bago. Like <laughs> Bago? I've never heard you. that name before. 
thank you. Also, like, can we just talk about the fact that, like, we are literally, we are currently pumping out generations of children that are glued to the idea of shooting other people. I just want to, like, like, whether it be through video games or otherwise, we are literally grooming generations of children to glorify the use of a gun. Like, that's why kids like, of a certain age and gender, if we're talking like market wise, like there is such a large market for one, like <laughs> kids who love to play first person shooters, et cetera, et cetera. It's like why Call of Duty does so well. So like why right. it just seems like a no brainer. It's such a big market that they made Warzone free, Apex is free, Fortnite yeah. is free. Right, and and we're talking about those are online simulations of what you could be doing in person. So what I'm hearing is iCombat needs to be free. Well. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> let's not. Yeah. Let's not. We, we would get paid contracts before iCombat ever does anything for free. So let's just. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> True. We will That's be professional true. players before. All right, I Jeremy, I need anything for free. Jeremy. I need you to get on an idea of iCombat, the microtransaction, <laughs> where the base game is free and anything that matters costs money. No, please, not anything but that. Oh, lordy, lordy. By the way, Jeremy, when this is all going on, still, I still have that idea for battle royals using the. Uh, the Waukesha map that I want to try to implement. We need to talk about that eventually. Like that idea fell off the face of the earth once the pandemic started. Once the pandemic started, there goes my. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I want to I want to talk to you about that because I still have tons of really good ideas. I think you guys can implement. I like Christian's question because it makes it sound like we don't have lives outside of combat anymore. <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> um, have as hobbies before I combat, like as if we don't have anything we like to do anymore. That's not a bad question. No, do you want to? Do you want me to like grab people from the chat? We can do a big talk over that one because that's actually a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool topic. I had a. What? I was like just open up the chat to anybody that wants to join. Oh, the hobbies you mean? Yeah, that one. Sure. Okay. If you I guys want sports. to be on the show, go ahead and jump in the channel. Just jump right in. I'm not even gonna wait for you. Just jump right on in. And we will take some answers of these questions together. Um, while people are joining, you all have full and open access to the channel in Discord. Just go ahead, jump in, and we'll uh, we'll get you in here. Why, start talking. why should I got Megan? Why should I pay thirty five dollars for parking? Riddle me that. God dang. God dang. Thirty five for parking. Yeah, <laughs> I park in Chicago and walk there. No, but this is why I'm glad I can walk to my job now. Beat yeah, ups <laughs> is free. Yeah, right, is so... free. yeah I second that movement. Yeah, who wants, who wants to go first with your hobbies before I combat? I actually, um, I feel like for me, like what, as why? I, I'm trying to like, remember when I like first got like what year in school I was when I first got into. I combat would it have been my sophomore year of college god i can't remember that it seems like it was so much longer ago but maybe it was like it might have been like the summer or like winter or something of like my freshman year something like that mm -hmm. um but i had like just come out of being in like a really like basically like high stakes like writing scene and like that was kind of like I, i've always been big into like i like being competitive i like competition i like like uh yeah. pushing myself and and all that type of stuff and like you know competitive sports whatever i i didn't know competitive writing was a thing and just started doing it but like that was kind of like my my jam as far as like competition went and like i did that during high school for two years and then after that i definitely like had a void where i just didn't have anything um as far as like or like writing or anything like that that like had a competition environment and then i found eye combat and that shit became my fucking crack specifically because of that <laughs> yeah yeah that was like my transition i feel like my segue like i literally just like had so much dead space in my life that i had before where i was like constantly like devoting my time to like i was like with my team i was writing all the time i was drafting i was 
practicing we were choreographing whatever because like we did slam so like it's a lot more um performative I guess than regular poetry uh performance but like we were always like on the grind like for literally two years of my high school career I don't really remember anything except for poetry and writing and practicing and rehearsing um on snow days we were with each other practicing and rehearsing and writing and drafting so like we really just didn't take days off from from slam like ever um but we were really good because of that. So like go off, you know, practice really <laughs> does do that thing. But like after that, I just didn't have like anything like that that had me like rigorous and like as passionate. And then like eye combat popped in and I was like, this is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got into that. Nice. Yeah. All right. So before eye combat, I spent effectively all of my free time and money playing Magic the Gathering. Mm. Um, the addictions are real. <laughs> yeah, Nick Nick and I would go to... Every week we would play Friday Night Magic. We would go to special events on Saturdays, like if there was local uh, Pro Tour qualifiers in the area, or if there were regional tournaments that had decent prizes, we would go to them um once or twice a year we would travel to other cities to go to the grand prix and the pro tours if they were close um did a lot of magic collecting we were actually i don't want to say we were good enough at it but we were we gotten to a point where we had enough um store credit from winning tournaments and like turning in prizes for entry fees back etc um, that we didn't pay really any entry fees for tournaments for I think almost two years at one point. Like Good kept, lord. Yeah, we kept going infinite, quote unquote, where it's like we would win stuff, give it back to the store, they would give store credit, and then we would use that to get into the next tournament, etc. Um, at one point, we had banked up enough store credit from winning tournaments that we bought a case of magic on release day, which is like 700 or some dollars, 600, 700 bucks. Um, and we just like would buy the product, crack it all open, sell back what we didn't need. So like after the initial investment, like our collection pretty much snowballed on its own. We were both good enough that we were able to, to get some good wins in and win good prizes. I know that at tournaments, um, the way that most magic tournaments are run is it's a Swiss tournament where you play, you play, I like the comments in the chat. You play yeah. against people that have the same record as you for the first six to eight rounds. And then at the end of the Swiss rounds, they, they do a break to the top eight. And the top eight is like the prestigious, like that's where the real prize starts for these tournaments. Um, Nick has, I think, two large tournament top eights, maybe three. Um, and I have, I think, about the same. Uh, the only difference is I think I got I got one of mine in a Pro Tour qualifier which I was like two wins away from making it to like the quote unquote pro tour, which is where the real money was. Um, Nick won a couple tournaments at Gen Con, which is pretty cool. Like he, I think Nick has won more prize money over time, but I've won like the more prestigious tournaments. Like I was also the top eight at States championships for one year. So uh, yeah, we did that for a lot of years. We did that for like six, seven years before we ended up giving it up. Um, but yeah, that, that was me. And I bowl a lot. I bowled a ton. Um, anything competitive. I'm like, a, I'm a competitive junkie, if you haven't noticed. Uh, like, the person pushing to have tournaments, me. <laughs> the person that wants to have a weekly league, me. <laughs> like, I want to be pushed to my extreme. Like, even at the tournament that we just had, like, yeah, I got my ass kicked. It was pretty rough. I had a great time. Like, I like getting my ass kicked. It makes me want to get better. <laughs> So, so that's that. Christian, what'd you do before I combat? Lots and lots of tennis. <laughs> Comes to that's tennis, true. right? Christian is the prince of tennis. Tennis. Anime, oh, there we go. Tea. Right after the anime. Yeah. Hey. Great. Hey. I have a costume after that guy. Yeah, you do. And I remember I was at I think two separate conventions where you wore that cosplay. Yeah, Love we went that. to. We went to Anime Midwest like every year together. Yeah, one of those years I was Princess Peach. I looked so cute. Yeah, I remember that. I really killed that cosplay. It looked good. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Didn't you wear it to school once? 
Yeah, I did it for Halloween. That was yeah, I remember. I <laughs> like I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it for Halloween, and then I'll wear it to Anime Midwest since I have it. That's pretty cool. There we go. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Cool. Anyway. So you played you played tennis in high school, right? You're talking to Christian. Yeah. How did uh how did how did that go for you? Did you get any big accomplishments or just grind big it out? accomplishments in high school? Yeah. Any big wins? I got sectionals, regionals. I, during my junior year, I got a gold medal at the Hoffman Estates tournament. Oh, nice for tennis. And then that same year, at the at the end of the year, like the entire like fine arts uh department had a had a award ceremony after school. Uh, I got, uh, what's it called? I got radio student of the year because of yes, cause, yeah, that. Cause radio, I remember that being on the radio yes. is fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. And uh, then when senior year hit, I got the biggest case of senioritis and nope, like, yeah, <laughs> happens to the best of us, bro. Dude, senioritis hit me hard. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. Like I literally think of senior year, and like I think of like one or two memories I had from like the same class, which was a writing class, and it's all just slam. <laughs> nice. Oh, and we still oh that's such a bittersweet memory. <laughs> so we we have a guest in here. I don't know if Waken's mic and or camera is working, but Waken, what did you do before iCombat if you're there? What what was your Hello? Hello. What was your Hello. hobbies before iCombat? Oh, uh I did a lot of writing and drawing, I guess. Nice. What's that? <laughs> drawing Edward did a lot of drawing. Dude, Edward's good at drawing. Do you remember that picture he drew? Yeah. Dude, I still have it. I love that drawing. I just like pinch the cheeks, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. What kind of what kind of writing? Anything fun like short stories, poems? Oh, stories. Like Sorry. novels. Just Oh shit! Nice. All right. Whoa. I said like a paragraph. She said no books. <laughs> she said no books. Like your lexile said... is not big enough for this. <laughs> Paragraphs, <laughs> a multitude of, but yeah. That's awesome. I got like halfway through writing a draft and then I uh, gave up. Ooh. Oh, Still you'll come back. The writer's to it. life, though. Yeah, you'll, yeah. You'll it happens. Life. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, like. Like a lot of good writers, like some of them only have like one or two like best selling books because they finally get to the best selling idea. They write all the way through it and they're like, all right. It was a good run. We'll, we'll let that one sell. We'll come back to it in a few. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go back to this question from a little bit ago that Christian said Would it be worse or better if locations got rid of the upstairs? Why would you even do that? I like kind of almost agree with it. Wait, well, you it's can't just a question. It. It's a worse or better. You can't oh, agree with. Well, it. I think I think that some of the fields would just be better without having upstairs. Like what? Like well, I mean, Alcatraz I think would be just perfectly fine as a one level field. Okay, yeah, you got me there. I mean, the upstairs really well, only served to do bad things to the other team. Even though the upstairs in Alcatraz is relatively boring, I feel like the play on the field would be even more fucking stagnant. And like, ugh, if there was no upstairs, because it's just like you take away a whole. What if the upstairs wasn't just like a big donut? <laughs> what do you mean, like an Alcatraz, or like in general? Just like, like like an Alcatraz. What if there was like more to do upstairs rather than just sprint down like a hallway? Yeah, like what if someone put a tube upstairs? Like that. Be yeah, fun. like something to make it more relevant. We've talked about this so much. We've almost talked this to death. Like I feel like we all agree that if there was something that made the upstairs like more exciting or like purposeful, I guess, like it would be more interesting. Like I'm, I love that. I also think that just like playing with like objectives and like the levels that you have on your map is fun too. Like. Yeah. If you have it, why wouldn't you do it? The only thing, though, is that, like, I feel like we've also talked about this a bunch, is you have to consider the fact that, like, upstairs, you have, like, narrower, smaller spaces. So, like, if you start to put objectives up there, you also start to run into the issue of, like, 
probably people getting hurt <laughs> and stuff like that, like more often than not. Also, like, you know, running upstairs can be a treacherous task. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw some people eat it pretty good. On yeah. The upstairs. But like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it because of that. Like people eat shit going up the stairs anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like things to consider, yeah. you know? As like, as a purely logistical, like field flow thing, I think it would be better instead of having a full upstairs, if there was a like raised section of the main area where you could like get up to, but not have to go up actual physical stairs, like a ramp to a section or like it takes you a lot longer to get upstairs mm -hmm. um i think that would be super great um especially because then you can kind of dodge some of the rules like i know i combat hit a foul of the uh hey oh Bing. jesus look at that yo oh my god awesome. that's a lot of bits Thank well you. that amount of bits just immediately put us up for the limit for a free game this session or for a free game, <laughs> that was the goal. <laughs> oh, hey, we accomplished our goal in one episode. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, and with that, he, he unlocked 25 emotes for people in the chat. So Yo, enjoy those. I want to give Dog a thank enjoy you for that, that. one. Thermid is here. Hi, Thermid. My Thermid worm. <laughs> Look at that. Now we need to set up a new goal. So we'll be getting a free game out. Uh, next week it looks like so show up next week and we'll be giving away a free game oh there we go there awesome. we go that's that's the goal right there thank you and now I if, uh, to be supported by our community. if this <laughs> power is shaking his head he's like i'll double whoever donates bits so <laughs> oh power yeah is... he said he'd double it he <laughs> said power, it's it, in might the be, chat. it might be it's more wild at this point to just give out some subs <laughs> you <laughs> might get more value for your money at that point true Oh, oh, nope, there it is. Oh, what? there it is. <laughs> Biddy's in the chat. <laughs> we got the biddies coming in, and there's 24 mo emo more emotes given out by Powers. It's oh, support. Thank you, guys. We love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Wow, is that actually going to maybe like start up a hype train? Oh. Not a hype train. <laughs> no. Thank you, thank you. Um, so what were we what were we talking about? <laughs> um, oh yeah, what were we talking? So the what field, happened? <laughs> so the field being like more uni level, I think would be, in my opinion, it would be better. Um, oh, I remember what I was saying. I was saying that Chicago fell afoul of the ADA laws. Because they built Alcatraz without a way for players to get to the second floor, floor if they were in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And they had one of the main objectives up there, the, the bell for Hell's Bells. So, like, technically the handicapped person wouldn't be able to play at the same rate as a standard person standard i don't know what to say um so able they actually body able bodied sure would be able bodied honey. able bodied okay you are disabled or you are able um oh fair and um they actually had to like redo the map at the last second that's why the opening got pushed back from what i understand is they had to actually go back and put in an elevator yeah which was the easiest not exactly the cheapest solution but mm -hmm. they had to go back and put that elevator which i think i only saw them use like twice which was unfortunate i mean well at least you saw them use it like yeah <laughs> yeah but it, uh, to be honest like those like these things should be accessible yeah, and, no, they totally should. The elevator isn't really the best way to do it. Well, no, especially not in this game because, like, yeah. the minute you open the elevator, you're dead and you have to go back down the elevator. Yeah, but I mean, like, regardless. Oh, Tommy, we I saw it happen. There was multiple times people played in wheelchairs at Chicago, and I felt sympathy for the amount of stress it had to be. Because you had the people trying to drive their wheelchair with their hands and then pick up the gun to shoot. And it was just bad. Like, if you had a mechanical wheelchair, you maybe had a chance. But, yeah, it was bad times. Very bad times. Um, Maybe. We don't really know, but... True. We can... 
You can theorize. It felt like it was bad times. Mm-hmm. Cool. What other, what other comments do we got here? Uh, Tommy said, anyone ever come down to St. Louis? He loves the upstairs, but he's the only top player who plays up there. Most fraggers are first floor players. Wait, who said that? Uh, Tommy. Tommy's oh. down in, uh, Tommy. in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to come down there once eventually. Like, I'd like to go to a lot of these like, combats once I can travel again. I mean, oh, man. I mean... By the way, I just got a new credit card that has travel bonuses, so... Love that. Come on, world. Hey! Let's leave the state. Yeah. Let's oh, leave no. the country. Oh. We'll go play at... Uh, can we go back to Europe? We can go to Schutenfest in <gasps> Berlin. I want to go to... I want to go back to Paris. Oh, well, one day, maybe. I want to... I want to <laughs> drink Aperol Spritz. That was Italy. And... What? That was Italy. I have them in Paris, too. Oh, you did? Yeah. There's an iCombat in Doobie. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, Doobie. What else Doobie. do we got here? Yeah, I would Doobie. like. I would love to travel to all the major iCombats that have been around. So, like, St. Louis. That. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? An anonymous gifter is giving 10 tier 1 subs. Oh, wow. Whoa. Holy huh? shiest. Well, look at that. Wow, well, you guys are so are, blessed. We are blessed. Congrats to Dewey, Quix, Frankenstein, Frog Champ, Boom Nasty. Wait, my brother's not subbed to the chat? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair I, think I, I think that I comped the, uh, the free sub for the family. <laughs> You're so funny. Hello there. Um, Whoa. Wait, was that dog again? Oh, Drop man. in 1,500 bits and then 10 subs? Wow. You guys are so great. Jeremy got a tier one Hello sub. There. Tiberius got a tier one. X-Ray Gun got a tier one. Wavy Dexterity got a tier one. Love y'all. Chris Chan got a tier one. Love y'all. Stick around. That is you great. Know? That is Soak great. Soak the community. Look at we all love these to thugs. have you. What a nice time. That you know? box is so good, large. Good, there we go. Good show. Good show. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. popping right now. Hello there. Hello there. And we're 10 minutes past. Yeah. Oh, are we? Is, Whoa. Yeah. Glad we went late today. Yeah, literally. I guess this is what happens when you give the people more of what they want. It's, uh, it's really oh, goodness really gracious. <laughs> all right. Well, let's keep going here. Let's see what other questions we got. Um, all right. What other questions? Do, 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 I had a question. Uh, what's it called? Objective so, games or kill games? I think yeah, we that's the this. one I was about to announce. It. We talked about that pretty extensively a little while ago. I a lot. Totally. I know, objective right? Games. A lot. Objective, and I'm sick and tired of the fact that there isn't a better way to check certain Hello objective there. games. Yeah. Sick and tired. It would be great if there was a way where the tubes could tell who shot the tube, and like track it in the system. Wait, they can. No, but I mean, like, but they don't, like, record it in statistics. Oh, oh Raygun's now following. Raygun got a sub before he followed. Yeah. Wow, man. Ooh. Yeah. That's wild. Okay. Let's play some memes. But, like, so Totally derailed everything. What, um, what is the next eye combat you're going to visit that you haven't been to before? Oh, okay. Um, oh, man. Realistically, I think with how they played in the tournament, I'd like to get out to North Carolina. I have to ask the rest of the scouts. Or New Jersey. I don't know. I'll go wherever he wants to go, really. We got passports. You want to go to Dubai? Dude, yeah, I do. I want to check out what... The, I want to see what those people are about. You know? They think they're so freaking good over there. We got to go... Got to go uh, whip some uh, da booty. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. No. Go. You're done. You're done on that one. Oh, go. man. You just... 
It's been good, you. guys. No power. Oh, it's been good. no. Oh, no. Show them UBL. Oh, show them UBL. oh, wow. That's a... I didn't even think of that. I wonder if no, my their AirPods. Game oh, list man. Out there. It's probably not, right? What is... UBL is probably not in their game list. It yeah. comes when you purchase the system. Well, what I'm thinking is. No, I mean, like, they choose not to it. play yeah. it. Sure, probably. It's Capture Trump. That is literally. People in Dubai don't have to wear. No. Yeah, yeah, Dubai. No. Dubai is pretty modern. Oh my god, this is why y'all should not have a map based on quote the Middle East. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, well, okay. burkas aren't a joke. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. Anyway. So. Anyway. Yeah, I think I think that North Carolina would be fun. New Jersey would be fun. Um, yeah, IG72 uh, told me that the beach is literally three minutes away from their eye combat walking. So, Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I was I like, wonder... oh, maybe the summertime would be the key time. Again, I wonder if... Death Star or an oil rig? Oh, he's talking about the field you'd like to see. Oh, Maps. like themes? Yeah. Death Star would be cool. How would you do a Death Star, though? I don't know, but it sounds sick. We try. <laughs> Maybe That's a it. bar, the Maybe bar on Tatooine, <laughs> the cantina. Yo. Love that. Oh, the cantina a band. Star yeah. Wars <laughs> themed <laughs> eye combat. Photon world. All right, I'll look that up. Google photo. Oh, do they have? Ooh, they interesting. They have like a, a Star Wars like Disneyland thing, don't they? They do. A Disneyland what? Star Wars thing. Oh yeah, they do. Park. Do they have laser tag as a part of that? I feel uh, like they're really missing the mark if they don't. Right? Mm. Like how dope. <laughs> and the music and the Well the problem is you have everybody that want would want to use a a lightsaber. Well, yeah. <laughs> Blasters are used a lot too. I feel like you oh, yeah. know. That's a sport too. Freaking Not... lightsaber fencing's a thing. Like god damn. There's a there's a market for everything, boys and girls. That's the moral of the story tonight. <laughs> There's something for everybody. We, oh my god, babe. This is literally like what we were talking about earlier with that stupid marble racing that you love to watch. Right. You're like, this the is like a thing. Marble race. <laughs> got roasted. What am I looking like? <laughs> 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 Uh, I can't wait, unfortunately. She, we just flew past that up again. for five seconds. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, like, I think the marble racing thing is really cool. It's not stupid, but, like, it Ooh. was just, <laughs> like, the string of Yo, words. I bet this blue marble will kick this red marble's ass. Let's no, watch it. <laughs> seriously, that's what it's like. And it's good, but, like, people are into that. Yeah. Like, there's a market of people who support <sighs> a YouTube channel that strictly produces content about marble racing. Like, y'all, there is something yeah. for everybody. And it's there. like professional marble racing. Like, just, like, they do splits and place changes. Crazy. Crazy. And yes, like, Marble Run. He knows it. <laughs> oh, man. He knows. <laughs> Marbula One. That's the name of the league. It's a Grand Prix series. That it's alone. like Formula One, but it's a Marbula One. I feel like that alone oh, wow. just makes me feel like the possibility of ever getting paid to professionally play laser tag is not out of the question in my lifetime. It's, and I'm okay with that. Love it's, that for me. Yeah. Well, and it's, we, it's the been, odds are not high, but it's never yeah. zero. Well, like, it's been, it's been pretty. If you can get, wow, if you can get enough like viewership on Twitch, like these channels <laughs> and like Twitch and YouTube, you can base a company just off one channel if it gets popular. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Twitch could oh, easily man. be the broadcasting platform for um, the. Mm -hmm professional laser tag though i would never go through twitch to do something like that but right <laughs> yeah no you'd, you'd have to like it would still have to be sponsor money but i mean subs and that i mean it pays for stuff it's not that. dude those memes are so funny. <laughs> you know the right ones with the cats yeah there's no chances of your cat killing you is low but never zero never zero, <laughs> never zero. <laughs> yeah right probably oh, potting our Oh, that's amazing. 
So Ooh. as a quick update for the people watching the stream, we currently have 13 live viewers on Twitch and four on YouTube. Wow. So yeah. thank you to our YouTube Ooh. viewers. To the okay. four First YouTube week, viewers, here. welcome. Hello, it's wonderful to have you. Hopefully you're not overlaps from here. <laughs> oh, they might be. You know, that's okay. Because too. a lot is oh, going on. Yeah, there's, there's a name we haven't seen in Chicago for a while. Uh, Shabazz is in the YouTube chat. Shabazz? No way! What? Yeah. That got an honorary desk slap. <laughs> what up? I miss that guy. Yeah, he was fun love to that. play with. Love that, love that, love that. Um, yeah. All right, were there any other... Well, yeah, he's still there. You could talk to him. Oh, man. You gotta come out to Waukesha sometime. Wait, so you don't have the YouTube chat up here anymore? Um, not on this part. I can I can pull it over. No, you don't have to. I was just wondering. Um, I was just curious. I can do it. Let's see. And so, any more questions? Any more questions? Any more stuff to talk about? I feel like we've we've really um done a lot today. You know, we've covered a lot of topics. Lots of lots of um. True story. What would you call juicy subjects, if you will? Oh, wedding date. Ha. Right. Right. Wedding um, yeah, that's as soon, for a while. Yeah, as soon as um people aren't at risk for getting exposed to COVID, we'll get married in front of people. <laughs> That'll be the wedding date. So, you know. Uh whenever that happens. <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, like honestly, we have done a lot of like too fair. Too fair. Uh, we've done a lot of like theoretical. You see him moving the chat around. <laughs> it's, just, uh, <laughs> it's floating on our screen and like <laughs> theoretical wedding planning. Like it's... we've talked a lot about YouTube like, chats up there now. Um, hey. the months that we'd like to have it, and I think we both kind of like want to have some type of fall wedding. Um, so we wanted to get married at iCombat. Oh, not me saying that out loud. <laughs> yeah, that would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, we we uh we we contemplated it for a that's a. Minute. That's a we story did. to tell. Yeah. We did. That, Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't have even been mad at that. Like, I love I had that. A, they had a perfectly sized room. Yeah, that storage space. Let me string some curtains on that bitch. Put a couple streamers. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Would have been good. Gorgeous. Cater in some food. Have friends make food. Play some laser tag for the kids. And the adults. Let's be fair. And the adults. Mostly yeah. the adults. Mostly the adults. Yeah. Mostly Absolutely. the adults. But, um, be a shanty I read the course. Army of Marines, they could make a serious competitive league. God, I would have loved yeah. that. Like, I genuinely, I would have done that 110%. Because the other thing is, too, is, like, when you have private events there and it's, like, um, it's not during, like, open hours or whatever, like, you just, like, have the whole place. Like, the yeah. front, back, whatever, like... So, I mean, that would have been great, but it's closed, so. Yeah. And I only would have done it at Chicago, so that's that on that. Let's see. If I combat paired with the Army or the Marines, they could make a serious competitive league, kind of who would win between spec op units. Uh, potentially. Um, I found, I don't know if it's the same everywhere, but I always found when there was anybody that was in the military or had any type of like police slash military training they didn't play very well because like playing eye combat is not the same as oh that's so following <laughs> rules of engagement for like being in war there's like a slight hesitation that's like trained into people before they fire whereas in eye combat like you're just shooting as soon as you see something move i'm running and gunning yeah <laughs> um did you see what jeremy said they play too slow no. Oh, what did he say? He said Jamie said oh, the fountain would be great, great for the, for the wedding, and she loves to decorate. Oh boy, <laughs> oh. so cute. Love that. Oh. Anyway. They do play very slow, though. They do. Like mm -hmm. they're walking, and all that. And I'm just I mean, like home. I walk when I play most of the time. For the I'm argument of people who are you, you guys are just talking about people who are like in the military or whatever yeah. that play. I military, like, yes. My brother was um. In the military? Yeah. Had... Well, he wasn't. He was in the Navy, but... That's the military. Sure, but like... Still the military. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, like, I've talked to my brother about it. We, he says it's a different classification. Yeah, it is, but okay. Um, and I feel like he, he adjusted well, though. 
Like, he he had a lot of training in, in certain fields, and like he he's great. Like my brother's an incredible player, so I don't know. I think it could go either way. Yeah. Um, like a deadliest warrior. Yeah, I mean that could be interesting, but like something like that, you're yeah. not gonna get. You would have to get mainstream like history channel to do. Like that's not. You're not gonna be able to like convince people to come out and and Twitch play that. Like you're not gonna get a squad of marines. To just come and play on your Twitch channel. Sure. Well, why um, not? Why not? Yeah. I, I just see it being very difficult to pull. I don't know. Friends with some people Regular in the Marines. Oh my goodness. Ew, no, never. God, why would you even <laughs> suggest that? That's how people die. That's yeah. how people yeah. get stepped on. Look, I'm not trying to get trampled, to be quite I'm honest. I watch I'm Jim not. Goodwin I'm almost sure. get stepped I still on get stepped on the way down. Ugh. Okay. That's a no for me. Griffball, I can get behind. Griffball, I can get Griffball, behind. Griffball, I'm down I'm for. Still never played. And I want to play so bad. Maybe we get Jeremy to let us play. Although we'd have to, yeah, we'd Griffball. have to get an all regular session, and be so that way we're we not trying do that. to. Or we could just do a private session. I mean, yeah. Shock belt. Fork over the oh, extra cat. Oh, Jeremy doesn't know what Griffball is. Oh god, this is about Chris, to be this a is all you podcast, all right. guys. So Griffball is the, the well, it's not that difficult to explain. The easiest way to describe Griffball is it's espionage, but instead of taking the objective back to your base, you're trying to advance the objective to your enemy's base. Mm -hmm. Um so how we played it in Chicago the one time that we did was on Alcatraz, you would have the bag in the prison in the middle in the middle shower and then you had to take it to the very furthest jail cell on the other side of the field um if you got it into there that would count as a point and then the bag slash ball gets reset back to the middle by one of the team leaders and then play continues and you play like two five minute halves or ten minute half or something and then the uh, highest score wins um, the biggest thing though, is that you, if you're carrying the ball, you have two rules you have to follow. The first rule is you cannot shoot your gun. The second rule is that you have to walk. You cannot even fast walk. You have to slow walk it there. Uh, no, both teams are both attacking and defending. It's like playing basketball. Basically. You're just trying to score a goal. Yeah, there we go. It was a fun time. Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, do we have a third for Apex? Oh, we, we need a third. third. Yeah, we do. We haven't even really played since that first session that we won. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten into playing a lot of Valorant. So, like, my FPS is, is definitely down. Like, or not down. It's like my FPS game time is up now. So Jeremy's down to I try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd be more than happy to play some Griff Ball somewhere. We just got to, like... Yeah. Assess the map and see where the goals are. Uh, we did it once on Shanty as like a really quick game, and then we did it like a actual two sided game on Alcatraz during. Oh, it was when they did the uh, the, the the spotlight Alcatraz. The pro spotlight, shoots. yeah, yeah, the pro shot spotlights. Yo. Um, yeah, it's totally fun. Like, if you want to look at how the game is played, it was a really big custom game in Halo back in the original, like Halo and Halo 2. Um, they would probably be able to tell you all the rules a lot better than following me. And I have a YouTube video that shows it, so love that. Yeah, chair for Team Hand Banana, <laughs> new YouTube vid. How do you have more we content? Got we gotta make the video. We gotta make yeah, we do we need to make more content. We do need to make the new hand banana video. Christian's never gonna stop pre firing. No. Are and you, I won't. Are you guys still playing Apex together? We haven't been able to have some time to play in a while. Exactly. Hey, look, it's Frog Champ. Hey Frog. Oh boy. Whoa. Hi. Hey Frog. What what say you, sir? Any questions? Since we're still here. <laughs> no, he doesn't get to ask. He called me fat. Oh, <laughs> damn. 
All right. Anything but that. Come on, guys. Not the body shaming in the laser tag community. That don't be it. It was extremely fun. funny. <laughs> he, did, he was he was just making conversation. I said, "Oh yeah, I have like I have all my chips and my brownies and my Arizona and my bag." He was like, "You fatty." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> there you go. Not him roasting. Nice. <laughs> The real question is what kind of chips, what kind of brownies. I feel like I need the details of the situation. <laughs> I also you know? Lay's wavy barbecue chips, cosmic brownies, and mango Arizona. Them cosmic brownies, though. He did really it good. again! <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, what the? Like, <laughs> wow! All right, hold on. I got this. I got this. Emote. I got this. Hey, Y'all. Sound this. bite. <laughs> I got hey, this is a body positive community, all right? Them. We allow people of all shapes and sizes, um, and all, um, what would you call that? A nutritional backgrounds. Nutritional okay? backgrounds. Some some people get their gamer fuel. Just time out. <laughs> <laughs> And some people get their gamer fuel from a cosmic brownie. Who's to say which is better? You know, probably the whole world, but it's fine. Bruh. Oh no, not the timeout. Oh no, he the timeout. He came in for two Watch minutes and you said bye. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> Alright, I already cleared the timeout. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Love that for us. Yeah. Um, he hopped onto the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he hopped on the Wait, not him, not him. Time out, dodging. Not him, switching to Oh, no. He's going to make a Smurf account and start going he again. He said my B elevate. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I love y'all. Smart man. Oh, this is fun. <sighs> Good times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. He can, he's going to dodge and then make another account and then dodge again and then... <laughs> Oh my god, we have people dodging bands? Are we a real stream now? This is what it looks like. <gasps> no way! Yo! Dude, we've got a lot of people watching right now. It's nice. Yeah. How many? He said, I'm everywhere. Uh, we're Just up like to 16 team. total. Just like the tournament. 15, <laughs> oh, 15 total. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Dude, it was infuriating playing against you and Sniper. That was like, I looked at that when it got pulled off the random pickings, and I was like, fuck, we lost that game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no, no chance in hell that we're going to be able to get upstairs. Yeah, when we pulled Doki's team for TDM, we were like, oh. <laughs> God, you know, I feel that we could have beaten Doki in Whack-A-Mole. Oh, not the tourney talk. Here we go. Yeah, well, oh, I just, I like, I, it'll I, never I stop. genuinely <laughs> feel like we could have won that. Um. It was so close. It was only two. It was only two. Yeah, well, two that you lost by, so moving yeah. on. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> oh, Hans was on some different shit that day, man. I feel like that's probably the same shit he's always on. That kind of just seems like it's probably his vibe, which would right. go off. Yeah, no, talking about the tournament. Yeah, literally, if you want to stop and no like, us from talking uh, about this tournament, you need to give us a new tournament to talk about. <laughs> I um, am very excited for whatever the next tournament is. I mean, like, one, because I'm probably going to play in it. I mean, all things considered. And two, um, I want to know what the the team style is going to be. <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? Honestly, I love the people. Graphics. We're choosing people. My ladies out there. Remember, that's so far away. <laughs> I'm looking at an all female team. Dang, that's all I have I'm all that Sorry, time I'm to actually, practice. All right, uh, that's fair. You know, to be honest, next September, COVID's probably still going to be around. So draft, 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 draft. That's not enough time. I'm going to be fucking September. I. Uh, what do you mean it's not enough time? Wh where are we going to go to practice right now? Nowhere. You're Just right. start practicing exactly. now. <laughs> No, <laughs> because I don't want to get sick. <laughs> that ain't that ain't the jam for me. Thanks though. Maybe maybe next time when I feel draft, like risking draft, my life draft, or the people draft. around me. I mean, draft would be fun. I think there's a lot of people that didn't play because it was a draft though, which is unfortunate. Like a lot of people just want to play with their friends. 
I liked the draft style. I think that makes it interesting. I will I think always the teams vote were the closest for the draft. That I've ever seen in any of the tournaments. Like the other thing that people need to realize it makes me feel like the NBA like, draft. <laughs> It, I feel like something that people need to realize about the draft style is that, like, you might want to play with your friends, but, like, you might have unexpected people that you play with that you don't really talk to that you might end up being friends with after a draft tournament, you know? Yeah. Like, sure, like, shitty stuff can happen, but, like, you know, open your mind to the possibilities. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the North Carolina people played out of their mind during the yeah. game. It was where was yeah, Jeremy? Where was Michigan? Like some of like mm. I think a lot of them just couldn't travel yeah, or agree. It's a huge travel for them. Yeah, yeah. Also, like to be fair, a lot of them were very candid about the fact that like they just weren't going to be able to afford it. Yeah. So I mean, that's like it's expensive. Yeah, and that's going to be the same issue for lots of the eye combat style people. They just. Yeah, I also it's, think it's, it's expensive a, to it's take time off. It's an expensive hobby, off. yeah. It's expensive to take time off. It's expensive to pay for the trip as is. It's expensive to travel. It's expensive to play. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of, like, financial sacrifice you have to make. So, I totally get it. Yep. It does suck. Like, it's difficult. But, like, I uh, I do be understanding. Yeah. Totally. Oh, what would be your ideal team that you could make for a Waukesha tournament? Hmm. I don't mm. know. I mean, it would be five Waukesha players. Yeah. <laughs> Awaken, you uh, said I wouldn't geez, be on Megan. it if I made it. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I know who the best Whitney, people are. Yeah, she nailed it. I mean, like, I wouldn't so be on the team. Or what? I mean, the no, only person really that, like, here. yeah, the only person that really proved just that they have could the play earpiece on and yell at your would team. be Doki, probably. <laughs> so you're just, like, team manager. You know, you're getting the paycheck yeah. after the day is done. sponsor. There you go. Bam. Ooh, sponsor. Yeah. We're talking Pocket big leagues now. She said, I just want to be where the money's at. <laughs> I'll cook snacks or something. Who knows? <laughs> I love that. Team mom. Yo, Come there on. we go. <laughs> Come on. Well, hover mom. Like Food that. is the best Team motivation. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Ideal team? My ideal team is still all ladies. I just want I just want to be on the first all female team. That's all There's I want. There's like I want no more than female regulars though. Like none. Ashaway, Kaya, Ashaway. you, Liana, uh, me. That's already good enough team. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't count. <laughs> oh. Well, I counted you. <laughs> uh, Unless right. that's not how you identify, then yeah. never mind. <laughs> Make an Ashaway anonymous, Birdie. Who's anonymous? Anonymous. I mean, I guess that's the point of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh there we go <laughs> nice giggle that was great someone clip that giggle <laughs> jamie sure sure there are, jamie. there are plenty of wonderful yeah, females who can lots. play on an all-female team love that okay there's like there's there's a bunch of good players but like i'm talking about people who like play like often oh, often well, yeah often often i mean not often often but like people you like i don't know <laughs> mm. i mean Regardless, like, if you think of, like, like I still... regulars, who comes to mind? Ashaway. Really? Ashaway, like, one of the best players. Yeah. Okay. She's yeah. incredible. Upstairs, yeah. lock it down. All day. Love her. She's great. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um. But, yeah. That's a maybe for me, dog. Oh. Well. It's a um... maybe for me. <laughs> no, but for real. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's a thing that um, yeah, and there's a there's a fair amount of to be a there's a fair amount of like Madisonian uh, female players too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They didn't play all the time, but they're very good when they did play. Yeah, they're still really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that like also the other thing is is that uh like obviously just from this conversation alone, I think there are um plenty of female players who do play and are very good who are just like constantly overlooked because they're women. Yeah. And that's just what happens to women in a male dominated sport <laughs> or hobby or whatever. Yeah. Weffy, incredible. Weffy goes off. Like, she's a great player. She takes time, to practice, whatever, prepares for a tournament. She could be great on a team of any kind. But, anyways, like draft style, obviously, that's not going to happen. But I like either. I like pick your own team. I like draft style. I like both. I feel like they both like open you up to a bunch of possibilities. 
Well, okay, Frog. So normally when she plays, she's on single fire, so it's much harder. But in that tournament, when you guys weren't ready for it, she fucking burst fire a lot of you bitches. Yeah. Frog, you and Ash play upstairs together and, like, crush it. Yeah. You guys are like, the, if I go upstairs, you are the people that I see all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like. I don't even see you most of the time and you kill me, so whatever. Get off my lawn, kid. Get off my lawn. Ah. Always a chance the next tourney is in Michigan. I mean, that would be dope. I like Michigan's map a lot. Yeah. I would definitely I have to practice. To Yo, more. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michigan. Catch me on the roof. <laughs> that would be. Oof, that'd be rough. I think we would get fucking wrecked by Michigan, Michigan players, but is a totally like draft, draft, it's a totally draft, different draft. game. Draft, draft. That's where that draft comes in handy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, they man, also have they some have like parts of the hotel. field there that I think would need to be changed to be a a little bit more balanced style of game. Yeah, I mean, I think that goes for any field oh yeah i know trust me no i'm talking about like, like regular we, sessions like, frog you like you crush me all the time <laughs> yeah um like michigan would be fun you can't in a draft you the, just can't you can't like that doesn't happen yeah that's just not gonna happen that's why you yeah. draft. Can't. i mean it could happen but it's not going to um I don't know. There would have to be more barriers up, I think, on the field. Like, things that break line of sight to the straight across to the other side of the field. Ooh, I would. Yeah. Because there's so yeah. many. They would have, they would literally need to be something. Unless you there's... change the spawn rules, you would need a way to get out of your base yeah. like, relatively safely. Because there's, there's so much just shooting across the map. Like, literally people who just, like, the game starts and you just stand and spawn. Like, yeah. granted, not everybody does that. Like, a lot of people don't. Yeah, but I think that, it's that just, it like, is a strategy that you could can do. easily yeah. be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't think it would happen in but a I would, tournament, But I would though. love to f go out to Michigan to play a tournament. I think that'd be great. You guys got plenty of regulars, too. You could get a full tournament going. I would also just, like, I love, I like Michigan's map a lot. And I do. I'm a fan. So, I would be into and that. And the gear relatively works well, too, I think. Mm hmm I mean, I think the gear <laughs> relatively worked well pretty much every location. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. All right. The walls will be Alcatraz and shanty doors. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh. Oh, don't you worry, Thermit. I'd be knowing how y'all play. I scouted Spill the beans. <laughs> All right, I think. Uh, what time is it? Ten forty. We should 10 probably 40. get going. We have extended the podcast. Oh yeah, it's a late. It, it was a late one tonight. We did a yeah, lot of talking. All right, Waken. I'll let you say goodbye before I kick you out of here. All right. Goodbye. Anything you want? <laughs> anything you want to plug? Bye. Love that. Short oh, and sweet. Oh, she's bye. She's gone. All right, cool. Thanks bye. for joining us. <laughs> This was a fun show. Yeah, this was great. Yeah, uh, we we crushed our so our our bit goal. Love that. So we're gonna we're gonna up that bit goal for the next show. Mm -hmm. Um, we got a little bit to go on the subs. Uh, I'm gonna have to double check that actually because I think I saw him donate ten. Oh yeah, no, we've we've definitely crushed our sub goal too. The thing is broken. We have 18 subs currently. So we'll update the Ooh. sub goal for the end of the month. We'll see if we can get some more subs as well. Uh, we will be giving away a free game next week. So we got that to look forward to. Who knows when it's going to happen? It could be in the pre-show. could be right at the beginning. It could be at the end of the show. Ooh. could be in the middle. It could be during a bathroom break. Oh. Literally, it could be any time. Break. Who knows? Like a bathroom break. Who knows? <laughs> it could be during no chapel time. Not even us. Um... Rest of this week, I don't have a lot going on. I'm gonna prep for D and D next week. We're gonna set up our Christmas tree this weekend. Not you saying you don't have a lot going on. <laughs> What's this week, Birdie? <laughs> it's our anniversary. Oh, our anniversary. Like you don't have a lot going on, so I, I guess whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Thermit says, "Please not the pre-show. He'll still be playing." 
I mean, you're just gonna have to watch. <laughs> At least you can. Just tell them, it. tell them to put the pre-show on, and then like if you hear their thing starting, you just jump in and do it. There you go. Love that. I mean, I play good music during the pre-show, so come on. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So weekend's gonna be fun. Um. I don't even know what we're doing. We can't do anything. Maybe we'll just like go shopping and make a nice dinner at home. Cook up some, uh, cook something up with the nice, uh, Thanks. Chianti and some Farva beans. Thank you. Thanks, Liana. Thank you guys. That was so sweet. Um, was next Tuesday's D and D. I'm going to try to stream more this week too. So, if you see me streaming, um, I'll probably probably be playing Valorant because I'm addicted to that game right now. Uh, I'm not great at it, but I like it. I play Viper. Yo, let's just He's let's just talk to it. let's just talk to Jesus and he'll carry us. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> totally down. Christian, I've seen that man play FPSs. It's insane. Oh yeah, he's wild. Love that for him. Christian, what's your week look like? Full-time work. Full-time work? I like it. Full-time work. That's about me. <laughs> 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. every day. Not yeah. me getting a muggle job. Is, is it my turn? Burp, burp, yes. what you got? School. As much as it pains me. Um, finishing my semester. <laughs> um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. School, poll... Flex, um, anniversary, um, that's about it. That's about it. Nice. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's it for us this week. It was another Wednesday. My <laughs> we'll be back in seven days. Next Wednesday, 8.30 Central for that pre-show. 9 o'clock for the full show. Come by for some free giveaways. Please do. If you uh, are still going out and have to mingle in the world, please continue to be safe. Wear that mask, boy. Wow, the videos just went out. Okay, you guys are back. Wear the masks. Close. Wear the mask. Keep your distance. I uh, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving as well, because that was last week and no one talked about that. I guess you talked about the food, but... Um, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving and you kept your families all safe. So, um, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Yes, happy Thanksgiving also, to everybody. Happy uh, start of the Christmas season because we all know Christmas is not start until December first. That's true. Put up your trees right. if you want. However you decorate, get the oil for those menorahs. Whatever you need. Mistletoe. Ooh. String the garland. <laughs> Drink the Malort. Roast the chestnuts on an open Drink the Malort. <laughs> Drink the Malort. Fuck Malort, y'all. Oh, that's, like, that's like drink rat poison. <laughs> no. What the heck? No. All right, guys. We're out of here. We'll be back in one week. If you're out there and you need a gear swap, go ahead and get yourself a gear swap. You need it. You deserve it. I got an interesting song for the outro today. I hope you guys like it. Love you. We'll All see right. you next week. Bye, y'all. Yeah, Bye. Banana.